Scott Cunningham, founder of Arc Like Dynamics. In this video, we're going to be discussing how to do a manual G code input and how to recover from catastrophic errors. So, first off, I want to cover manual G code input. This is a really great feature of our system, it allows you to manually type in G code and control the system. So you want to become familiar with it. This I'm just going to cover on the very the very basics. You can type in a lot of different options here in your G code, but we're just going to cover how to do rapid moves here. Okay, so I currently have my machine homed out and I've zeroed it out on this position on my plate. So if you click into the MDI tab, you'll get a code input line. And so I'm going to type in G0. So if I click on this, I can type in G0. Now that indicates a rapid move. And then next you will follow that with either an X, Y, or a Z coordinate and hear their combination of. So if I go G0, X, 5, and then hit enter, the machine moves over five inches. Now this is all relative to the home position. So if I go G zero X three, I'm sorry, and then hit enter, the machine moves back to three inches away from the home position. Okay. So I can also go G zero X five Y five. Now the machine moved at a diagonal to five inches over and five inches up. And if I type in G zero X zero Y zero, remember this is always using zeros, not the, the O. Moves back to the home position. Or not the home position, the part zero position. So, this ability to manually input your G code gives us the ability to basically recover from any type of error as long as we know the distances, the coordinates between our home position and where our part zero position is. So I would recommend you do this anytime you're cutting out a large nest um, of parts. So like I said in past videos, the only error we can't recover from is if the material moves. You know, if that material moves, there's no way and you don't have a positive stop, there's no way to get it back to exactly the right position. So, but as long as your material doesn't move, your computer could shut off. Um, just everything could go wrong as long as you have your the coordinates between the home position and your part zero written down you're going to be okay so first off I'm going to go back to auto make sure my z-axis is high enough what I want to do is home my machine and so this is a practice you want to get into doing before each nest so I'm going to home my X and home my Y Now, I'm going to zero my X and Y. Now, I'm going to drive back over to where I want my part zero to be. So, for example, let's say I was going to start a big nest. This is where I wanted to start. So, basically, it's not necessarily your Z axis that's important, it's your X and your Y. No matter what happens, while I'm cutting out this nest. So basically I would write down these coordinates and then I would zero my X and my Y. And that sets my part zero, okay? I could also zero out my Z too, which is important. 
So now I've zeroed out, but I have my coordinates written down. So if I'm out here, machines cutting, everything goes haywire, and let's say for, and you can actually type into these boxes, for some reason, my axes get all messed up. And so I got seven inches, and all of a sudden my, it thinks it's in a completely different position than it was before. You know, if I tell it to go under manual data input, if I tell it to go G0, X0, Y0, the, the, the part zero is in completely the wrong spot. It's nowhere near it. So this would be a, what, like a ca catastrophic error. You've lost position completely. You, this could happen due to a computer failure. This could happen due to your machine running into things. Say your gantry runs, you left a wrench or something on your gantry, runs into it, it'll stall out and it'll lose position. It'll think it's somewhere other than it is. So to be able to recover in that instance, what you have to do is have your coordinates written down. So to get back to that, into the right spot, I'm simply going to hold my X, hold my Y, Then I'm going to zero my one, zero my x. And then I'm going to go into my manual data input and I'm going to type in my coordinates. So I'm going to go g0, x, 24, and then y 9.6700 so I'm going to hit enter and the machine moves right back to where the part zero was so at this point drop my z-axis down, I can either home it or I can get it close to the plate. At that point I can zero back out and now I know I'm back at my original part zero and then I can scroll through my code and figure out where the error was and complete the cut. So getting in the habit of writing down your coordinates is really important and I recommend just writing them on a piece of paper. There are notepad options on the computer. You can type in notes and things like that, but just to be on the safe side, it's better just have a piece of paper written uh, down so you, you know where your start part is, uh, your start point is. So that's recovered from a catastrophic error. Thanks for watching and I hope that video was helpful. Please remember our primary goal is to make your purchase profitable. So don't hesitate to reach out for help. You can reach us at 866-222-2154 or head over to our website where you'll find a complete list of all of our training materials. Thank you.